How's everyone doing today? Great, fantastic. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, if I haven't seen you or you haven't seen my videos, Happy New Year. Um, we all made it into another year, so thank the Lord for that. Um, I am a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, so um, when I talk, I talk about Him because without Him, I'm nothing, and I really mean that. But also, I am a narcissistic uh, abuse survivor. Um, when you find out about narcissist abuse, it's very shocking. You know, you don't know, uh, you didn't even know that such evil existed, let alone that you were have actually a part of it. But anyway, um, so today I'd like to read a scripture in regards to moving past our past, just moving past it. It's not easy. We have to um, iron out the kinks. We have to come to reality. We have to realize that um, what we were in was real. It was painful. Um, it's hard to believe. It's still hard to believe for some people. Um, and we probably, um, it's hard to believe because usually it's somebody that's familiar that is the narcissist for you. And so it's not easy to digest that, you know, because um, if you are a, a victim of that uh, abuse, that means you are an empath. And empaths love people. We love people. We, um, we get close to people, we cling to people, and we believe people. We believe uh, every word that they're saying to us. We think that their word is golden and it's really a bond that, you know, we can really believe this person. But if you are uh, around a narcissist, you cannot believe them. They are um, liars. And, but anyway, you know, nothing, nothing happens for... Uh, no reason, I believe, you know, God is good, you know, in using everything for his child, you know, I think God uses certain evil um, to keep his children from falling into other things that probably can really harm us or take us off this planet before our time, you know, because he has a plan for us, he has a great plan for us, Jeremiah 29, 11 talks about the plan that God has for us, it's a plan to give us good hope and a good future and not to harm us. And um, and I think being in the narcissist abuse um, relationships, because you have more than one narcissist when you find yourself a, a, a victim, but it's something about that relationship, I talked about this in the last video, that it, it's kind of like a protective, it, it protects you. It's kind of like God's discipline, his arm of protection on his children. You know, it's his way of keeping us away from things that really probably could be really worse, you know. So it's like um, being fenced in, kind of, sort of, because it's a very controlled environment. And and um, so it kind of keeps you back from life, you know. And I just remember uh, growing up listening to my narcissist, everything that, you know, my um, mine was with my stepmother, starting with her, and then it was other people, too. But I was always listening to these people. You know, my ex-husband was a narcissist too. So I was always listening, you know, and whatever they said, I believed that I was going to do it. I was going to do it, you know, but that was just, that's how empaths are. You know, we will listen to everything. We want to do right. We want to, you know, uh, we want to believe, we're going to believe you. And so, um, so that's, I, I believe that that's God's way of keeping his children safe, you know, and it, it, it probably sounds bizarre to some people, you know, how do you keep somebody safe by being around an evil person or somebody that's controlling, somebody that's not me, somebody that's pre or pretending to be something when they're really not, but God will, I believe, use everything for his child to protect his children. And sometimes uh, evil situations or being on enemy territory is a way for God to protect, protect his children. That's his way of protecting his children. Because as I read the Bible and the, old, uh, the Bible stories that are real... Um, God always, when his children, um, when they do certain things, he will put them on enemy territory, you know, so it's like a form of protection, you know, I'm going to protect my children, you know, however, when God puts us on these enemy, enemy territories, the, the enemy that's there are not going to like us, and those be the narcissists and the manipulators and the people that are going to pretend to like us, but 
God, when they mistreat us, God remember what they have done to us. Then he he takes care of his children once he get them out of that situation. He takes care of them. But in Isaiah, you know, he talks about the past. Don't look, you know, um, to the past. Keep looking um, forward, you know. Keep looking forward. The past has happened, you know, and no matter how painful it is or how how uh, devastating it is or it was for us, we have to move past it. And um, I'm going to read a scripture. It's Isaiah 43, 18 through 9, 19. And it says, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it is; um, it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So, you know, things that look dried up. Maybe when we started dealing with the person, we were uh, in our early 20s. You know, early 20s and 30, 40, 50 years have gone by. And it's like, oh, what, what, you know, what am I going to do with myself all this time? You know, I've been, you know, walking around with a blindfold over my eyes you know uh i it's like i allowed so much my of my time to get away from me by hanging around these people that have been taken and taken and taken and just um wasting my time you know time wasters this is what's been happening to me and so you may feel like you know you know got you probably had kids or you didn't have no kids or you got married and you divorced or whatever you know you just feel like who am I now? You know, what am I supposed to do with myself? You know, this is all I know. Well, you know, God is saying, do not remember that because he's going to do a new thing. You know, there's a new thing that he's going to do in us. No matter how dried up it looks, no matter how, how the circumstances look, you know, no matter how old you are now, God is going to do something new. He's going to bring new life into you, breathe new life into you because like I keep saying in my videos, if you have come to that awakening moment where you're awake and you finally see what is going on, you know, you probably felt something, you know, going on or you felt like things are familiar. You know, I keep going around the same bush over and over and over. Why is this happening to me? But you still couldn't put a finger on as to what was going on until you had your awakening moment you know when god awakened you to what is actually happening or whatever if you are a believer if you're not a believer then whoever whatever brought you to this awakening moment to me i believe it was god because before i was a, a saved christian and things like that god used to still talk to me he used to protect me he used to um make sure that i was okay you know so i know that god works in his children's life even before his children come to know him he will be working in his children's life that's just the, the god he is that's just how beautiful he is he's just precious like that and if he sees something is happening with his children he will say something to them he has spoken to me you know, uh, in regards to what I was in with my narcissist. Uh, so God will be there. So if he brought you to this, uh, this awakening moment, whether you want to believe it's God or it's not God, uh, something brought you here, you know. So now it's saying God is saying that he want to do a new thing in you. He want to bring, um, he want to water your ground again and make you new and whole and he wants to start bringing the gifts out in you and the talent and the things that are in you. He wants to start bringing those things uh, to to the forefront, you know, to to fruition, you know, so you can actually see um, the goodness that's inside of you, you know, because we will think that, you know, well, I'm too old or I'm this or I'm that, but you're not too old. You're not too this. You're not too that. You know, um, you have a lot in you and God wants to do a lot for you you know you're not a victim uh anymore you know you do not have to continue that victim mentality of woe is me you know i'm just a victim and and you know and i'm going to keep attracting narcissists no you're not going to god is going to do something new he's going to water your ground you know and and make you feel um like a person again and and this time it will be different 
because you are a willing participant for something different to happen, start happening in your life. And see, and that's the thing about uh, life. We have to be on board with wanting something new. We have to be on board for that change to start taking place. We have to be uh, willing participants, you know, in the process, in this healing and finding out what is actually happening, you know, what have I been in, in this healing process, uh, us finding out what has been taking place means that we are ready for something new. So don't feel like time has passed or it's over or I don't have nothing to offer, you know, I, I've gained so much weight or I lost so much weight or I, you know, I got too many wrinkles or this or that or too many gray hairs or this or that going on. You know, I, I've wasted so much time with this narcissist. I let them take so much from me. Don't think like that because God is wanting to do a new thing. He's brought you to the well of healing, the well of newness, the well of doing something different in you. And um, and he's going to complete that, that work that needs to be done in us and me too. You know, and I'm on board. I'm a willing participant. You know, I look at it like this. We were a willing participant when we were letting people control us and manipulate us and take our life away from us. So now we have to be a willing participant in regaining our life, taking our life back and letting God do something new in us. Okay, so stay on your healing journey. You are doing a great job. You are not here by accident. You are somebody. You have a purpose. God has a purpose for your life. If you've been rejected here, there, and you're still being rejected, it doesn't mean anything. You have a purpose to fulfill on this life. Your destiny is Almighty God letting you know that you are somebody. Okay? God bless you all. Thank you for looking at my videos. I really appreciate it. I thank you for subscribing to my videos. It's not about that. It's just about healing from uh, narcissistic abuse. It's about coming out of the darkness into the light. It's about restoration and preparation. Preparation, restoration. Okay? God bless you guys. This is T Mentor Fu. God bless and be blessed.